many of you know, my um, my porn name is Savage Wiener. And the where I got that name from, of course, was um, there's a right-wing ra former radio guy, now m uh, micro-podcaster. I'm not saying his podcast is small and no one watches, but it's uh, technically, if you look at the um, the stats on it, it's an any. Anyways, um, there's a guy named, uh, Michael Savage and he, um, his real name is Michael Weiner. And I said a long time ago that the one area where I do kind of agree with him is that if that was my name, I would change it too. I would just change, I would, I would call myself Savage Weiner and just, you know, not, not despite my family name, but, you know, to make a point. And uh, so Michael Savage is one of these guys who thinks that because we tracked and jammed the balloon as it flew over the United States and then shot it down over saltwater and took it and are examining it, um, that's Biden being in the pocket of China, whereas Trump letting multiple ones fly over without even paying attention because he was too busy having chocolate cake and blabbing secrets at Mar-a-Lago or golfing, that uh, that somehow that's, you know, that's America first. So anyways, here you go. This is Savage Wiener's take on, on this is called Open Skies. Is Biden a Beijing candidate? And I would like to say for the record that I think Tiananmen Trump is great and hashtag Tiananmen Trump works very well. It'll go very well with this little segmented video and all the other ones where we've dealt with his bullshit about China. By Dr. Michael Oh dear God. Savage, host of the Michael Savage Pond. Uh, he's a, what's he a doctor of? Uh, I got, I got a PhD in reading dirty books. Cast. He's also the author of the book, Our Fight for America, The War Continues. And Dr. Savage, I want to get your reaction to Biden's response here because we had military analysts on earlier in this show mentioning that this should have been shot down before it even got over the continental U.S. And here they are. Right. So um, without knowing that it's actually a spy balloon, it could very well be a weather balloon. Um, before it reaches the U.S., we're going to be shooting down anything drifting our way from any country sight unseen especially if it's over Canada first, and then we'll, yeah. They are celebrating that it was shot down after it seemingly might have completed its mission over the Atlantic Ocean. Thanks, Radic. Look, if Biden had been president when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, we'd all be... Oh, for fuck's sake. We'd all be speaking Japanese. Speaking Japanese. Right. In addition to open borders, we now have open... Um, uh, for the record, I think he was vice president then, but skies under this clown pathological liar that he is the man is a pathological liar yes yeah, say it again maybe that'll make it true everyone knows this surveillance balloon should have been shot down over the aleutian islands no they don't anyone with a minimal education understands that that's number one number two it's much worse than we think okay here it is this is the details you and i don't have we're not if, if only bongo bong holio you're watching this now tune in he's going to give you he's got his reading glasses on he's going when this first started i put this up on twitter six hours ago forgive me for my oh well shit six hours ago i mean it's ancient history my excesses but i tend to think in a different way than people in the news business yes even though you still have an old-fashioned news phone maybe i jump to conclusions but i'll ask the question is he the manchurian candidate he said no. shoot it down after it sent all the data back to Beijing? No. He said uh, shoot it down as soon as it is safe to do so. And the military said we're jamming it and we're following it. Uh, it's better if we wait until it's out over the ocean. And uh, he said okay. As soon as possible. Safely. That was the order. Well, that's after the fox ate the chickens? Go and tell the people with the guns to kill the fox? I don't. Yeah, in case you have any more chickens or you plan on having chickens in the future, I suppose, you know. Believe a word of this. This is equivalent. Oh, oops, that's loud too. Sorry. Hold on one second. Equivalent to what Obama did. And I remember it. I wrote about it. I was on the radio at the time. I talked about it. You're not on the radio anymore? Weird. Remember what Obama did? We sent them the shiniest, newest drone in our arsenal, and it landed in Iran. 
without a scratch on it like a new Buick in a showroom? Where do you think Iran became so advanced in the drone business? The, these would be the drones that uh, sound like a chainsaw when they're flying overhead and can be shot down with small arms fire. The ones that are in Ukraine right now that literally they can destroy with rifles. It's from our technology. So this exactly. party called the Democrat Party is a party filled with traitors from top to bottom. Perverts, criminals and traitors. Now, I'm going to go to the you sound jealous. The next step without getting excited, because I know I'll be uh, stepping on some toes here and I don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to. Not with a name like Savage. Go easy. They don't have to shoot down drones. They don't have to have drones uh, given to them. They don't have have to have balloons over our uh, bases. They could just read it in our military books. Look what I got in the mail. Right. Again, this goes to that fucking Twitter thing. Um, that and by the way, just because you know how something works doesn't mean you can make something work. That's uh, ask Michael Savage's penis. Um, there, there was a guy on Twitter who actually posted a picture of where the nuclear, the active nuclear sites and the decommissioned nuclear sites were in, in the, like in the North cent, central North America, um, Northern part of the USA. And I'm like, why would you need a balloon if you can, you know, they're there, you know, exactly the kind of missiles it's on. There've been news reports about the fucking things. If you, they're telling you the truth. Now that's the other thing. Why would they spy if they have access to all this stuff? Well, here's a couple of reasons. One, uh, by the time you're reading it, it's old news. And this, the second reason is, is that there's a shit ton of these, um, you know, these details in these things that they can fucking try all they want to, but they don't have the means or wherewithal to actually make them happen. Hell, no one even knows what this is. I'm a member of the Navy League for years, and I get these books. And I look at it with a wonderment. I can't believe it. It lists every piece of military equipment that the U.S. Navy has. It lists. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It lists all the pieces of of uh, equipment that the mil the Navy has that it is authorized to. Um, to expose or authorized um, to divulge. Yeah, check out the on-air sign. I know it's because he, he used to be on radio. Um, again, I, I this the amount of dipshittery here. Look at this dickhead. Look at this guy. They tell you what's there. I don't even know why you'd want to take a picture. It's written. Can't. It's like a. It's like a. This is like a recipe for building a navy. Just, you need, we're just, I don't have any cumin. Fuck me. Lists all of our bases, <laughs> where they are, and how many planes and ships are in them. It shows. Well, all the planes and ships and personnel and locations that we, um, that we have oversight sessions about, you know, commit, uh, oversight committee meetings about, and discuss openly. Like, how, how is he this fucking dumb? Every one of our pieces of military equipment in the U.S. Navy down to pretty... Yeah, go to the, go to the uh, chapter on flying saucers. Good detail. It shows things that you cannot believe. It's got a centerfold. And I, this is filth. I got it in the mail. Strike Fighter Squadron. It shows the number of planes, where they're located. I got it in the mail. Yeah, and they're still there since that book was written. They haven't moved at all. Now, if I'm getting it in the mail, here's a nice... Yeah, China's definitely got a subscription. It's one Logan that no one's ever seen. Airborne radar systems. Here it is with pictures and quite a few details for our friends around the world. <laughs> so, Logan, people are not going to believe what I'm showing them. I didn't steal this book. I got it in the mail. It was sent to... Okay, so it went over uh, Malmstrom. It went, it went over the Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming because it was looking for people and shocked at how few there were. Then it went to Kansas City and Missouri 
just to fuck around. You know, just there are no bases marked in those areas. I mean, they have bases. They've got shit in there. You're telling me that the center, the center of the United States has no missile silos or no bases it would want to look at that they're aware of? Is it not in the book? Is that what it is? Michael Savage is not in the book. And then Fort, flying over Fort Bragg. Like the, you, can, you can Google Earth Fort Bragg. To me, because I'm a member of the Navy League. I'm sure that there are spies in America who also receive this book. <laughs> yes, and who smuggle it out of the country in their underwear. My God, this is dumb. And here is a picture of our leadership. You're not going to believe this one, Logan. If you were an enemy of America, wouldn't you like to see who the leaders are? The it's America. They're all approved. There's websites. Jesus Christ. Uh, not, our generals aren't secret. What the fuck? This is amazing. I feel like I almost owe Dan Bongholio an apology. <laughs> Holy shit, this is dumb. <laughs> yeah. They can... The, the average citizen might not be able to check out foreign websites, but the fucking CCC, the CCP sure can. What the hell? Military leaders? Well, here they are. Here's their pictures and their names and where they live, Logan. Yeah, does it, is it tell, like, their, it, what, what they like sexually, their favorite drink, their, uh, the, the motel they're most likely to frequent where they can be snatched and duct taped and put into a compromising position? Is there, like, is that a link, or? Isn't that nicely provided? And it goes all the way up to the commander-in-chief himself, Joey Biden, the commander. Yeah, yeah, great. Anybody who gets this book can find out who the president of the United States is. Jesus Christ, burn the books. And maybe they were right. Set fire to them. Wait, hold on. Shit. We, we must, at, at, at all cost, we must burn the fucking... Um, hold on. We can't... Tr we, at this point, yeah, we cannot risk anything. Burn that book immediately. Set fire to it. Jesus Christ. Book burning can be fun. We're saving lives right now. If if we don't burn this book, the Chinese are going to know who the who Lloyd Austin is. They might invite him over to dinner. Holy smokes! Is there? I mean, it, uh, this is impressive. This is shockingly stupid. Commander in grief, and there's the the commander in grief. Well, I'm glad he's upsetting to you. Genius. Secretary of Defense, Lord Austin himself. I don't call him Lloyd Austin. He's Lord Austin. That'll get him. This is an, a, night, a nightmare that people should not turn away from and say it's yesterday's news. So let's... Well, it certainly is yesterday's news that a book you get in the mail is available to anyone on Earth. Let's remember this. It appeared over the Aleutian Islands. How did it even get that far? If it was a Russian satellite, it would have been shot down, wouldn't it? No. Because the satellite is outside the atmosphere. We are, not, we are not having space wars yet. We will be, but not yet. Well, why do we let a Chinese satellite go over the Aleutian Islands without... Because it's not a satellite, it's a balloon. Uh, shooting it down. And what about... Because, uh, because at the time they were tracking it, didn't know if it would come this way, and they waited till it was over the uh, the actual country before they took action on it. Because if they blow it up beforehand, it kind of fucks up that meeting with uh, Xi Jinping. I suppose. The communist dictator of Canada. For those of you who listen to Newsmax in Canada, who I nobody li nobody listens to Newsmax in Canada. They might watch it, but I called uh, false dough, not true dough. What did the Canadians oh, God. do to shoot this down on the false dough? The communist up there. Now, what happened afterwards? Well, it may have been outside their range until it dropped down and was visible in the United States. That might have been the issue. Biden shoots down balloon with missile, destroying all, all useful information inside. No. No. He didn't shoot down the base part. They popped the balloon, stupid. Like, at this point, they just don't even care. At this point, he's just making shit up. And by the way, we, we don't, hey, stupid, 
they have a website with what's the, with the material attached to this. Why don't we just look it up? It's got to be a one for one. They probably have a diagram for it. By the balloon or in the equipment in the balloon, the data in the balloon. So you yes, a balloon full of data. That's how we talk about your head. You can't even reverse engineer it. You can't reverse engineer a balloon. Capture the spy data. It's too. You can't catch too much. We destroyed it. It's all. It's all wet now. We got to put the whole thing in a in a in a bowl of rice that's the size of three Greyhound buses. Late. So that's why they waited. If you want to go paranoid and you want to. What are you talking about? If they shot it down over land just by popping the balloon, it would crash and be destroyed. Write a novel. You couldn't do a better job. So you. Have what do you mean, making up bullshit the way you are? I have a Manchurian candidate who's owned lock, stock, and barrel by the communist Chinese. They tell him, shoot it down after it passes through the United States. Is that what they said? It's make believe you don't know anything about it. So the Air Force uh, was, <clears throat> was being told not to shoot it down. And Biden said, uh, wait till it's done. And the Air Force said, okay. I mean, it's one thing, like, of course, they hate Biden. Of course, they hate Democrats. They hate in the road. But can we just be completely honest? Do these motherfuckers think that Air Force is going to just, yeah, let it slide, I guess. It's moving over our nukes. Oh, it's moving over Fort Bragg. It's moving. They're getting important shit. We can see it going out. But the, we, we've got an order from the White House not to stop the data. That doesn't fly with the American people. Even No, it doesn't fly. That's why the president shot it down. And the morons in the media were asking questions. So they give him a new line today. Oh, I authorize shoot it down on Wednesday when it's safe. And Lord Austin says, I waited until it was over the Atlantic Ocean because I cared about the safety of the American people. Well, tell us about the southern border with gangbangers and fentanyl coming in, Lord Austin. That well, they're. They're stopping it. They're doing their best to stop it in the same way that they're handling this. Nothing's perfect, but they're doing a better job than Trump did. I mean, it's definitely the border's harder to control now because of the wall. That's what you should be worried about. It's a nightmare from top to bottom. Open skies, open borders. And other slang. It's a nightmare that we're all living through. Yeah, I, I wish I could wake up from this nightmare. I, I, But at the same time, I'm pinching myself because I... You look so dreamy. And it's Biden. Biden himself who's in charge of all of this. He may be yep. the Manchurian candidate, in my humble opinion. Or, if it's not the Manchurian candidate, then maybe they're using these old pipes. To That's an opium pipe that he bought on a trip. Smoke the same stuff that the ancestors of those now running China used to smoke. Get it? Because somebody's smoking something. I mean, get it. It's not a gag. That's just kind of a material, m materially true thing. Also, uh, how's the pull on that thing, dipshit? Um, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. It, it, there are, for everybody who thought that the uh, the GOP take on the balloon would have would leave some scars on the Biden administration, it's just, it's so fun. It's just... It's just so fun. It's just so stupid and fun.